Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome again to another reading of the Judges. I'm going to read chapter 12, and then we'll move on to another book. Judges 12. The men of Ephraim gathered themselves together and went northward and said unto Jephthah, Wherefore passed thou on over to fight against the children of Ammon, and didst not call us to go with thee? We will burn thy ho thine house upon thee with fire. Jephthah said unto them, I and my people were at great strife with the children of Ammon, and when I called you, ye delivered me not out of their hands. When I saw that ye deliver me not, I put my life into, in my hands and pass over against the children of Ammon, and the Lord delivered them into my hand. Wherefore then are ye come up near me this day, come up unto me this day to fight against me? Then Jephthah gathered together all the men of Gilead, and fought with Ephraim. And the men of Gilead smote Ephraim, because they said, Ye, ye Gileadites are fugitives of Ephraim among the Ephraimites, Eph, Ephra, um, Ephraimites and among the Men Menasites. The Gileadites took the passages of Jordan before the Ephraimites, and it was so, that when those Ephraimites who were escaped who escaped, said, Let me go over. And the men of Gilead said unto him, Art thou an Ephraimite? If he said nay, if he said nay, then said he, then said they unto him, Say now, Shibboleth. And, then, and he said, Shibboleth, for he could not frame to pronounce it right. Sibboleth, Sibboleth, without the sh part. Then they took him and slew him at the passage of Jordan, and there fell at the time of the Ephraim, at the time of the Ephraimites forty two thousand. We read this again. Okay, the Ephraimites who escaped, going back to verse five. Ephraimites who escaped said, Let me go over that the men of Gilead let me go over. The men of Gilead said unto him, Art thou an Ephraimite? He said, Nay. Then said they unto him, Say now Shibboleth. Shibboleth means, let's see, verse 6. A flowing string uses a test of, of a dialect. And he said, Sibboleth, for he could not frame to pronounce it right. Then he, they took him. That's probably Jephthah. And they took him and slew Jephthah at the passages of Jordan, there fell at that time, at the at that time of the Ephraimites forty two thousand. Jephthah judged Israel six years, and Jephthah died the Gilead. Then, then Jephthah died. Jephthah the Gilead died, and was buried in one of the cities of Gilead. After him, Ibzan of Bethlehem judged Israel. He had thirty sons and thirty daughters whom he sent abroad and took him 30 daughters from, from abroad for his sons, and he judged Israel seven years. Then Ibsen died and was buried at Bethlehem. After him, Elon, a Zeb Zebulonite, judged Israel. He judged Israel 10 years. Elon, the Zebulonite, died and was buried in Aizalon, in the country of Zebulun. After him, Abdon, the son of Hilel, a Pirithonite, Hirathonite, judge Israel. He had forty sons and thirty nephews that rode on three score and ten donkey, ten colts, and he judged Israel eight years. Abdon, the son of Hillel, the Perathonite, died and was buried on Perathon, Hirathon, in the land of Ephraim, in the mount of the Amalekites. That's chapter 12 for you. I'll be back for more reading.